Good day students, welcome to mathgodserve.com and this clip we're going to be going over how to write the rule for the nth term of an arithmetic sequence. Alright, so the instructions for the problems that we're going to be working on are for us to write the rule for the nth term of the um, given arithmetic sequence, okay, of the given arithmetic sequence then find the 21st term, okay, then find the, or we just, just, just write then find a21, okay, a sub 21 Okay, so let's say we have the sequence for number 1, negative 16, negative 26, negative 36, negative 46, and the pattern continues. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, determine what the rule for the nth term is, also known as the explicit formula. So the solution is as follows. So we want to start out by writing down what the formula for the nth term of an arithmetic sequence is. So the formula is a n, the nth term equals to the first term plus n minus 1 times the common difference. Now for the uh, nth term we need to know what a1 is. a1 is also known as your first term so this guy right here is a1, the first term, negative 16, okay? And then we also need to know what d is. d is the common difference, and it can be found by finding the difference between consecutive terms. For example, we can subtract the first term from the second term. We have negative 26 minus negative 16. If we work this out, we'll get negative 26 plus 16, which is equal to negative 10. Okay, so this is our first term, and that's our common difference, uh, negative 10. Uh, for the um, rule, n is simply going to be n. Now let's plug in all this information into the equation. We have a n equals a1, the first term, negative 16 plus, n says this, n minus 1 times the common difference, which is negative 10. Okay, now how do we go about simplifying this um, equation? We have a quantity here with a number on the outside, so we can distribute this negative 10 across these two terms right here, and that gives us. Um, a n equals negative 16 plus, well if I times negative 10 by n, that's going to give me negative 16 minus 10 n, and then minus 1 times minus 10 is plus 10. Okay, now we can combine like terms by combining the constants, so we can combine negative 16 and positive 10. Since your signs are different, we're going to subtract and keep the sign of the bigger, which is negative 16. So we will have um, negative 10 n, negative 16 plus 10 is minus 6. Okay, so this, ladies and gentlemen, is the rule for the nth term. Okay, so let's write that down. This is the rule for the nth term. also known as the explicit formula, explicit formula. <coughs> now we're going to use this to uh, find the, uh, what did they ask for? 21st term. Alright, let's go ahead and do that, second part. I want to find 
A21, which is the 21st term. Now to accomplish that, we're simply going to make use of our rule or explicit formula. So An is equal to negative 10n minus 6. So this formula helps us to see how we can determine an nth term based on the position of the term that we desire to find, okay? So in this particular case, n is going to attain the value of 21, okay? So a sub 21 is going to be negative 10 times, and then we're going to substitute n, 21, negative 10 um, times 21, minus 6, okay? Multiply it out, we have negative 210, minus 6. So signs are the same. You add and keep the sign. That gives us negative 216 as the 21st term. Okay? So this is how you find the nth a specific term given the rule for the nth term or the explicit formula. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. We really appreciate it. If you found the contents of this tutorial helpful in your studies of um, sequences and series, do give us a thumbs up. Your positive feedback is very valuable to us. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and post it in the comment section below and we'll be more than glad to assist you. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for updates to other tutorials such as this. More support resources, videos, tutorials, and games can be found at our website, mathcutserve.com. Do check it out. Thanks again for watching, and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.